Good morning. I want to take this opportunity to welcome everyone here this morning as we get ready to get started. I want to welcome you to our annual Christmas musical presentation. Our choir and orchestra have been working for, for many months just to prepare for this one day. So I know that we will be blessed. I pray that you will be blessed. And, and I'm excited to hear the Lord speak to us through this musical presentation this morning. The title this year is Peace Has Come. And it really isn't that what Christmas is all about. Amen. The, the fact that peace has come in Jesus Christ, and that's what we're looking forward to. So I'm excited for today. I hope you are as well. For those of you that are here visiting this morning, we are very glad to have you here. We're excited that you come, that you have come here to be with us this morning. You will see ushers making their way up the aisle. And if you're here visiting, as they walk by you, if you just lift your hand as they come by you, they have something to hand to you. Uh, I just want you to know that it's a blessing to have you here and I pray that you will be blessed by what takes place here this morning. If you will, take this moment to bow your heads with me, and I would like to begin this service with the word of prayer. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful opportunity that you have given us to come here and worship today as we hear this musical presentation. Lord, I pray that you will imprint on our hearts the message that peace has come in Jesus Christ, that, that we may celebrate that joyfully throughout this Christmas season and every Christmas season. Lord, I pray that you will be with them as they've been preparing uh, so long for this day that you will just use them to speak to us this morning. I pray, Lord, that not only will it be a blessing to us, but that it may be an honor to you and that it might bring praise to your name. Father, we give you praise this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand and sing Joy to the World. Father, we just thank you, Father, for the opportunity to come into your presence. And we do that through the blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord. Lord, we just uh, thank you for the opportunity we've had to worship you this morning already through the study of your words. Father, be with us as we continue to worship you with songs and praises, Father. Lord, just now as we worship you with tithes and offerings, Father, we ask that you bless the gift and the giver. Lord, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Said the night wind to the little lamb, Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, little lamb, Do you see what I see? A star, a star, dancing in the sky, With a tail as big as 
a kite with a tail as big as a kite said the little lamb to the shepherd boy do you hear what I hear ringing in the night shepherd boy do you hear what I hear a song a song high above the tree with a voice as big as the sea with a voice as big as the sea said the shepherd boy to the mighty king do you know what i know in your palace warm mighty king do you know what i know a child a child shivers in the cold let us bring him silver and gold let us bring him silver and gold said the king to the people everywhere listen to what i say pray for peace people everywhere listen to what i say the child the child sleeping in the night he will bring us goodness and light he will bring us goodness and light 
Peace has come. As prophets had predicted for many years, God sent himself in human form to bring peace to a chaotic world. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, reigns over a kingdom not of this world. He does not conquer oppressive rulers or topple evil empires, but he does deliver his children from the strongholds of fear and doubt and sin. Jesus' miraculous birth was just the beginning of the beautiful story of how heavenly peace has come to us. Now long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free from our fears and sins. Let us find the rest in thee. Israel, strength and consolation, hope of all the earth thou art. Dear is I of every nation, joy of every law. struggled to wrap her finite mind around the idea that she would soon deliver the one who would deliver us all. Her fears could only be relieved by the unseen hand of God. I 
have traveled many moonless nights, cold and weary, with a babe inside, and I chosen me now to carry your son Do you wonder as you watch my face if a wiser one should have had my place? But I am strong help me be help me
only peace on earth is what we speak of tonight. Join us and let's sing about it together.
said that we definitely would have problems and heartache and pain. Jesus, just before his crucifixion, also promised to leave us with peace. My peace, he said, not as the world gives. His peace is beyond human understanding, and yet it is as real as the fear it is said to relieve. The prophet Isaiah called it perfect peace. Although it may seem impossible, this quiet assurance is available to those who totally trust in him. of war or conflict, neither the result of a ceasefire nor the signing of a treaty. Peace is a person, Jesus Christ. We were once enemies of God because of our sin, but have been brought close to him through the blood of Christ. Now we call on him to rule in our hearts, our comforter, our strength, our prince of peace has come.
Amen. I don't know about you, but I am beyond blessed right now. I needed to hear that, and I'm pretty sure that you did too. Amen. You know, my prayer today is that, that what we just heard will be a reminder to all of us what Christmas is truly about, and that is that peace has come in Jesus Christ. In a, in a terrible and sinful world that we live in, peace has come in Jesus Christ, and it is available to all of those who trust in Him. Amen. That has been the reminder this morning, and I pray that uh, if there are any of you here this morning that have not experienced that peace, that today may be the day that this Christmas might be the Christmas that you experience it for the first time. I pray that, uh, that you will understand what Christmas is all about. And as we celebrate this morning, I pray that maybe all of us will start this season off in the right way. I want to say thank you this morning uh, to the choir and the orchestra for working so hard to, to prepare for this day. So thank you very much for all of you. It was a great blessing, wasn't it? I'm grateful for all the time that they spent preparing. And I also want to say thank you to, to two people for that the Lord has used for making this morning possible. One of those is Steve Clayton, our music minister, who's not able to be here this morning. Steve has been out for three weeks now, and he has worked very hard over, over these months to prepare for this day and is not able to be here. I talked to Steve this morning, and he said that in over 40 years of music ministry, this is the first time that he can ever remember not making it to a Christmas musical. So please lift him up in prayer this morning. Um, but Steve had great confidence that everything would go well. And I want to say thank you also to Bruce Kramer. Whenever Steve, whenever Steve uh, was injured, Bruce stepped in at a moment's notice and was prepared to lead this group. And the Lord blessed us greatly through his leadership today. And I pray that, that we will all be blessed by what we heard. So as we stand, get ready to stand up and sing this morning, if you need prayer, come down and let me pray for you. Maybe you want to pray for someone else that you're thinking of this Christmas that does not have peace. But whatever the case is in your life, let us leave here today knowing that we have peace through Jesus Christ who has come for us. And that's what Christmas is all about. say thank you one more time for attending this year's presentation of Peace Has Come. I would like to now close us in prayer and then we will be dismissed this morning. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here this morning to remind us what Christmas is all about. I pray, Lord, that as we leave here today, we may remember that above all else, Christmas is about the fact that peace has come in Jesus Christ and that peace is available to everyone that trusts in his name. Lord, I pray that this Christmas might be filled with peace for those in this room this morning, that each and every person here may know the joy of walking with Jesus. And I pray, Lord, 
that we were all encouraged to do that as we heard this presentation this morning. Father, we lift this time up to you and we give you praise for what we have heard and what we have experienced. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are dismissed.